Yo, what's up guys, it's Felix. In this video, we're gonna be talking about stacking apps. This is something that is highly talked about in the courier space, courier niche. If you're looking to break into the courier business, become a independent medical courier, people talk about this all the time. Should you stack apps? Should you focus on one app? Should you lock in with one company and only work with that company? In this video, we're gonna be breaking that down and I'm gonna be telling you what is the best way to go about this. I've been in the courier space since 2015, almost 10 years, and I have a pretty good explanation on how you can go about this and how you should look at this. So the first thing I wanna say is you should look at the idea of stacking apps, like the idea of having multiple streams of income, right? Having multiple streams of income is super important. They say the average millionaire have the, has about seven streams of income, right? Now, some people do say that, hey, you should take one play, one lane, one avenue and go all in on that, whether it's a business, whether it's you know something you're working on, take that and run with it 100%. While I do agree, business and everything in life has up and down, right? Everything goes up, everything goes down. Nothing is hot forever. You might be hot right now, but next month you're down, right? So everything kind of goes in waves, everything kind of goes in seasons. So for that, you need to be thinking about multiple streams of income and that ties back to stacking apps. Now, before we go any further, I want you to check down in the description. I have a few resources for you guys. If you guys are looking to break into the medical career and independent career industry as a courier, I have a course that was hosted by my two friends, Sean in town and the courier chick. It's a medical courier course. It's less than a hundred bucks. It's super affordable. It's going to show you step by step how to get work, how to set this business up correctly so you can go out there and get this bag. There's so much opportunity as a medical and independent courier nowadays. We're going into high season. It's almost the final quarter of the year. The opportunities out there, if you have the right information, you can execute and get this bag. I also have three different lists. It's lists of different companies that are hiring in different niches of the independent courier space. So go down in the description and check that information out. But like I said, let's talk about multiple streams of income, which is also you know how I look at stacking apps. Everything goes in waves, right? So I just wanna say something. I was looking at another video from another content creator called Cars and Cribs or Cribs and Cars. I can't exactly remember what the name of his channel was, but he was basically showing a day in the life of how he runs his business day-to-day -day operations as a independent courier. And he made somewhere around like 160 or 170 bucks in just one day. And he didn't use that by just one app. Now I'm not saying you can't make, you know, 150, 175, 200, $300 in one day as an independent courier because you absolutely can. But what I'm saying is to keep your options open, right? I have a few businesses that are my primary businesses, right? Those are what I put my most time into. But for example, sometimes, and not every day, but sometimes I do trade US 30, I do trade the stock market, but I don't do it every single day, right? I'll look at the markets in the morning, sometimes, not every day. I typically don't trade on Fridays or Mondays, and I always look at you know news, and I don't trade every day. But I'll take a look at the charts. If I see my setup within 20, 30 minutes, I'll execute a trade. If I don't, I move on and focus on the main businesses that I do day to day. For example, I do my medical commodities business. And this is another thing that you guys could do. I highly recommend if you're a courier and you're driving and you just plan to just be like an independent driver, you don't plan to build a courier business where you have multiple vehicles, multiple drivers, multiple routes, which is fine. You know, it's not for everybody. Maybe you just want to go out there, use your own car, use your own vehicle after gas, make it 150, $200, three to four days a week. Maybe you want to do a part-time, maybe you want to do a full-time, but if you're just going to do it as yourself, I highly recommend you have some sort of resale business. I have a good friend who resells vintage t-shirts, right? He makes ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month selling vintage t-shirts. I have a friend who resells iPhones. He makes great money selling iPhones. And me personally, I buy and resell diabetic medical commodities. That's my main business, right? I also help about five to 10 people per month get started as a medical commodities reseller, right? They ask for my help. I consult them and show them how to build a business. I have a training program that shows them that, but it's not my main stream of income. I'm actively building my medical commodities business. 
I'm actively building my courier business. I'm actively building businesses that are my main focuses. I'm actively building my real estate businesses business. And you know, with time, I add different opportunities within those businesses, like these videos that I make a few dollars from the Google ad revenue that YouTube puts on my videos, but it's not my main stream of income. So like I said, if your main stream of income is say maybe go share, don't shut yourself down to maybe doing a DoorDash delivery if you have you know 20 minutes off and you see an order come in, there's a high tip amount on it. Don't shut yourself down. If you want to focus on one thing, focus on that thing. But the opportunity that lies behind stacking apps and using multiple apps is huge. And if you just shut it down and just say, hey, I'm just going to use one app, I think you're leaving opportunity on the table. Multiple streams of income is a, is a I'm trying to look for the word, is a important is a, is a key component when building wealth and getting to the bag and getting riches right because you kind of need money coming in from all angles there's been times where you know my real estate business is dead right you know i have no active leads coming in no active deals coming in and i'm just you know working on the projects i currently have i have times where my courier business is slow i have times where you know my medical commodities business is slow i have times where my youtube channels are slow i have times where my consulting business is slow you know stuff goes in waves so if you can go out there and you can grab opportunity from from low hanging fruit that you otherwise wouldn't have because you weren't open to it then you know i think it just makes sense so i think personally you know stacking apps only makes sense because it's multiple streams of income it's multiple ways you can get money you can pull money from here you can pull money from there you can pull money from here 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 and your your two main focuses might be here here and here but when these things kind of slow up you can kind of pick up the dead weight and pull from where you might have not otherwise been able to pull so stacking apps people talk about hey you shouldn't do it you should just focus on one company one app one opportunity 100% stack apps, right? 100% have two, three apps going on, right? You ever see like an Uber or a Lyft driver? What do they do? They have Uber going on, they have Lyft, they have multiple different uh, ride share services because when one app is slow, the next app isn't, right? And I'm not saying put all your opportunity, you don't wanna spread yourself too thin, but as long as you, you're setting up systems for them, like, hey, I'm gonna focus on this, when it's slow, I'll pick up opportunity here. I'm gonna focus on A primarily, but when it's slow, I'm going to go to B and I'm going to give B, you know, I'm going to give B, you know, my eye and see if it's open and available. If it's open, I'm going to jump on the opportunity, but I'm going to stay focused and locked in on A, right? So multiple streams of income. Don't put down an opportunity. Like I said, check that link down in the description if you guys want step-by-step -step guide on how to, you know, build a medical career business. And if you want access to companies that are hiring right now, I have a bunch of different companies in the medical courier space in the package delivery space and the food delivery space but also don't you know don't pass up an opportunity right the the biggest mistake people make in life is you know opportunity knocks nobody's home and the opportunity leaves and that happens so much and people just literally look the other way they pass up on the opportunity and when you pass up up, up, up on opportunity you pass up on you know um, revenue success freedom you know legacy and you you pass up on so many things that just come from one opportunity and then you know every new opportunity is somebody else you could have met right i've done a, um diff things that i thought would never lead to anything and just for example in the past you know two months i met one person through somebody else that i've known for years in business and we've been able to build, you know, a new revenue stream in one inside of one of my businesses. So you never know what opportunity you could be missing by shutting down and only staying with one company, one app, one opportunity. And then not only do you miss the revenue, not only do you miss the freedom, but you also miss the relationships that could come with it, right? If you leave yourself out there and you say, "Hey, I'm open to whatever comes to me," you never know what you might, might what you might run into or what you might come into, right? You might meet somebody who says, "Hey." You know, if your main gig is this company, I got something that could two exit, three exit, right? So there's so many different things that, you know, are, are, are possible when you put yourself out there in multiple avenues and multiple lanes of business. So there you guys have it. I 100% I stand by stacking apps. It's multiple streams of income. Multiple streams of income is responsible for my success um, year and year and year over year. So 100% do it. Like I said, check that link down in the description. Also check out that guy, Cards and Cribs. He has a lot of great content about the courier business and if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to put a thumbs up on it again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later peace